Welcome to this Python tutorial. We will we will dive into the powerful world of dictionary. In Python, a dictionary is a fundamental data type that allows you to store collection of key value pairs. Think of it like a real world dictionary where each word, the key, has its corresponding definition, the value. And some key points about dictionary in Python: storage of key value pairs, order collections, mutable natures, no duplicate keys, and nested structure. So let's discuss them one by one. Firstly, let's talk about key value pairs. Think of dictionary as storing information with labels. Each piece of data has a labeled key that help you find it quickly. So next up, order collection. Dictionary keep things in the order you put them in. So when you want to go through your information, it stay in the same sequence. Now on to mutable nature. You can modify dictionary even after creating them. That means you can add new information, remove old steps or update what's already there moving forward no duplicate key each label in dictionary must be different if you try to add a label that already exists it just changes the information connected to the that label lastly nested structure dictionary can hold other dictionary inside them this nested ability lets you organize complex sets of information neatly and you know with dictionary managing and organizing your data become much simpler so let's dive in and explore the world of dictionary together so this is all the topic if you want to note all of these to so go ahead and pause the video for that so let's understand key and values with a straightforward example imagine we have person information like uh, their name age and job so think of key as a label that help us identify each or a piece of information for instance name uh, tell us what follow is the person name and same as age tell us their age job tell us their occupation so here we will be writing name age and job and the values well they are simply the information itself so for the name the value might be Sadiq and uh, for the age it could be 22, 23 and for job it could be Python developer, programmer and keys and values work in hand in hand like a label and it co its corresponding information making uh, it easy to understand and organize data so let's write all of them so here we got job and a Python developer or a programmer so let's uh, write Python developer here so alright let's uh, walk through a simple example together now let's print a dictionary here uh, slash and mean uh, create a new line and you know that so firstly we are creating a dictionary to store a student information we have got their names age and job listed so here we have name and name Sadiq and age um, and don't worry about the error here so don't worry about that um, here we will be putting the comma so don't worry about that now job uh, we got python developer let's try python developer now let's put comma in between now let's run the file so let's see so here we got no error zero error let's close this uh, now let's access this information we print out the student name age and job let's print that let's access the values now write print print name here 
and student let's access the value in student we got uh, let's write name and here we go let's copy that and paste it here and here now let's uh, change the name to age and uh, job So we print out the student name, age and job. Now let's run the file again. As you can see we got name Sadiq, age 23 and job python developer. So here we go. But hey, if what if uh, something changes, no worry we can easily update the student age. Let's modify the values. So here uh, we are changing it to 80 we are changing the age to 80 so let's change that as you can see we got 23 here but let's bring the updated version let's print that As you can see age here now let's paste it here let's run the file and see the updated version here 80 we got 80 here as you can see now let's uh, add give them a proper look updated version age and here we go So you know adding more detail we are throwing in the student so let's add GPA let's add something let's just like GPA a new key value pair here we will be adding a new key value pairs so let's add them let's go first of all Let's try student and then GPA and equal to three point uh, let's say suppose three point nine. It's good. Now let's uh, print that student. GPA and here we go let's select that and put comma here let's give them a proper look GPA now let's run the file and let's see uh, so as you can see we got GPA here we just add a new key value here So now, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, loop through all this information. So let's print uh, every key value fares. And if you don't know about uh, for loop, don't worry, I will teach you that later. So don't worry about that, it's not a big deal. It's easy. And I will teach you that in an easy way. So here we got for loop in a key value in student let's print that in student dot items and print key and then print value here so now let's run the file and see the output here as you can see uh, the information down here name Sadiq is 80 job Python developer and GPA is 3.9 now let's add uh, another key value fares here so add uh, nationality I'm a Pakistani so let's add Pakistani here
as you can see we got nationality Pakistani and you can also add courses etc so as you can see the whole dictionary is enclosed in the curly braces and each key you know is uh, separated from its value by a uh, column and commas are used to separate the item in the dictionary so just each key is separated from its value by a column from its value by a column and commas and you can just skip that part if you know all of this I used to separate the item in the dictionary and you know don't forget the curly braces they hold uh, our dictionary together separating each key from its value with a colon and commas keep everything neat So now uh, let's do some key value function. So these are some cool function we have got. Or let's check uh, if something is there or not. So now let's check that. So student dot keys and uh, let's uh, run the file. As you can see, we got name, age, job, GPA, and nationality. So we got everything here. Now let's uh, print values here. So same as keys, just change the name into key into values. Now change the keys into value. As you can see the value function here so here we go so let's uh, use delete function you know deleting is important too though be careful with the del function if you delete the whole thing you might just get a name error here let me show you del student and it will show a name error so now print after deleting it it will show as name error uh, after deleting it student let's try that now let's run the file and let's see as you can see we got a name error here name student is not defined because it's deleted you just delete everything so let's command this now on to verification using is or not in we are checking if certain things exist or don't exist in our dictionary so verification using is or not in let's uh, copy this and print it here for better row now print
and let's add another key value for here courses let's add courses English and uh, Python let's add Python and uh, you know C++ would be good let's add C++ and uh, C sharp you know in Pakistan they teach C Python C++ English C sharp let's add math and they also teach math and statistic Let's add statistic. And of course introduction to AI. So here we go. Now let's uh, write courses in student. Now let's see and run the file. As you can see, we got through here. And you know uppercase and lowercase matter in verification so careful with that now let's check Python in student in course actually student course And sorry about that so here we go now let's run the file and let's see and here we, we have got uh, true here now let's print David not in student on the file and you can see we got true now let's change it to Sadiq and you know you have to provide uh, correct information and you know uppercase lowercase matter the most so we have Sadiq with the uh, lowercase now let's add to uh, name here as you can see we got true again now let's change that to s small s now let's see as you can see we got false here now let's close that now let's remove this one and let's see you got uh, true here again because we are not providing enough information so here we go now let's write uppercase and lowercase matter and one more thing provide enough information so and there's also an assignment for you practice using function like uh, copy fob and pop item and check out on my github for more details now let's write assignment practice copy function fob function and pop item function 
pop item function and you know assignment will be on my github so moving on to get function get function so now let's print uh, get function print student dot get course let's try that print student dot get and course now let's run the file and let's see as you can see we got english python c plus plus c sharp math statistic introduction to ai so we are done now let's moving on to iterating dictionary. You know a dictionary can be iterated using the for loop. Now let's do that. Just a loop to go through each key. A dictionary can be iterated using uh, the for loop. Now let's add for key in student and print key. So let's see, run the file. So here we go. We got name, age, job, GPA, nationality, and courses. So that's it for today. And thanks for turning in, and I will catch you next time. So And you know I will upload the assignment and short project on my github and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much